Hi, good evening to you. Yes, we just learned from the state medical examiner that Matthias Wurtz's cause of death has been identified as dying of heart disease. And we know after talking to his friends and people who knew him today that he will be deeply missed by his community here in North Haven, especially by those here at the North Haven Fire Department where he served for more than two decades. Very caring and, and giving, willing to help anybody at any time, whoever needed it, whether he knew him or not. Mike Torino has gotten to know Matias Wurtz, affectionately known as Maddie, very well over the last few years. The two played together in a pipe band. It's called the New Haven County Firefighters Emerald Society, and Maddie was their snare drummer. If you know anything about this, the drum line for us, uh, it's made up of three sets of drums bass drum, snare drummer, and tenor drummers, and they're the heartbeat of, of what we do. The hearts of his band members skipped on Monday when they found out Maddie died in the line of duty. He was responding to a fire on Quinnipiac Ave in North Haven when he had his own medical emergency. Yeah, it's just one of those things when you get an early morning call um, out of the blue, it raises the hair on the back of your neck and you know, you get that news and it's just a, a straight punch to the to the chest. Ever since, the community has come together. Fire and police departments all over the state joining in on the procession on Tuesday, bringing Wartz's body from Yale New Haven Hospital to the medical examiner's office. It seemed like every overpass, there were firefighters and police officers standing there with their equipment saluting us, the procession. A type of support for Selectman Michael Frieda says he and his town need as they remember Maddie. We miss him. Uh, he will never be forgotten here. And over these next few weeks, I, I, I fully anticipate still tremendous grieving here in North Haven. Now back out here live, now that the autopsy is complete, Wurtz's body will be transported in another procession tomorrow afternoon coming to the North Haven a funeral home here in town. Now as for the funeral arrangements, those haven't been announced just yet. And for the cause of the fire, which is where this all started, that has not been announced yet either. That is still under investigation. All of this we will be following for you and we'll bring you any updates. For now, we're live here in North Haven. Julia LeBlanc, Fox 61 News.